How's it going today, buddies? Hopefully everybody is well. Uh, it's Monday, so it means it's the Lucha Libre news slash rant show. Uh, so let's just dive right into it. I know the past couple of times there, I had more uh, talking about more events than really anything, but uh, let's just uh, dive right into some news. So in a quick quick mention of Rey Mysterio has uh, signed a three-year deal recently with the WWE, a deal that is said to involve a uh, one last title run for him before his retirement. This is, this is of course said to be um, his last three, uh, his last run in uh, Lucha Libre and wrestling and all that stuff before he actually takes his retirement. Um, and I'll get into the reason on why his, uh, he's talking about retirement after this three year run. Um, but of course, keeping up with uh, the Mysterio uh, news, Rey Mysterio has published and announced um, pictures of his son beginning his wrestling training, his son Dominic, who is now 21 years old, uh, is at uh, Lance Storm's uh, training school, a Canadian gladiator in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, which is where he is training out of. It was announced that Dog Dominic had started conditioning uh, on his body and in getting in shape uh, for in-ring action about a year ago. Uh, around that, uh, I mean, personally, I'm surprised that um, being um, his father, which is Rey Mysterio, I'm surprised that he's not going um, more towards uh, Lucha Libre uh, side of things. I'm surprised that he's not getting into more uh, Mexican style wrestling uh, instead. So that I found um, uh, rather uh, surprising myself, but definitely no surprising that he's getting into it, Dominic uh, Mysterio. Dario is no stranger, of course, to the uh, in-ring action. He famously took part in a feud between his father and Eddie Guerrero in about 2005 and recently made an appearance in Lucha Underground while his father was feuding with one Johnny Mundo. Now it's been revealed that Dominic was training with his father and Conan to prepare for a career in um, wrestling, but uh, he is now expected to uh, train at um, Storm Wrestling Academy for the next at least three months. Uh, so I'm surprised that, like I said, he's not going into more of the Lucha Libre style of things. I'm sure we'll probably see him in uh, WWE and um, all that stuff, just like his dad was. But also into getting into uh, other news, uh, Blue Demon has sold out. Of course, there's big no surprise right there. Blue Demon has sold the rights, or Blue Demon Jr. has sold the rights to the Blue Demon character to movie 88. This will lead to creation of Demon Worldwide, which will be a, uh, which will be an offshoot um, that will produce movies and multimedia productions related to Blue Demon Jr. and is of course his adopted father. Uh, the projects will be available uh, for viewing in uh, Mexico, uh, America, and of course. Asian um, audience will be involved, enjoyed, uh, will be able to enjoy um, all the um, productions there. Uh, there will also be Blue Demon cartoons and video games. Um, so no word yet in um, how this is going to affect Blue Demon when it comes to in-ring appearances. But of course, I'll keep you guys updated as things progress. By that, I mean, I'd be surprised if because he sold off the rights to the Blue Demon character, I'd be surprised if he's still able to use that character in ring. Um, of course, in the Lucha Libre world, um, because he sold the rights to it. So I'm either expecting him to change his name or maybe he's going to just keep the name and maybe a part of the deal was that they actually uh, let him use the name for in ring appearances. I don't know, but I'm definitely um, interested in what that'll what'll happen with that. Anyway, continuing on, uh, the CMLL continues its celebration of its 85th anniversary with the Grand Prix that will be held. The, this will actually be the 14th uh, year of it. The CMLL uh, has held the International Grand Prix for the past 14 years, which is quite a long Time, the CMLL has announced its first four competitors for the event, which will be Guerrero, Samson, and Catcher, as well as Blue Diamond. Uh, this past week, the CMLL also made it known that the international team 
uh, will be the Briscoe brothers of Ring of Honor, David Finley of New Japan, Michael Eaglin of New Japan, and Dominic Magic of the Independence, as well as Akamura of the CMLL. This event, of course, like I said, will take place on the 5th of October, and I'm rather looking forward to it. Usually I don't look forward to, to the Grand Prix too much, but I'm definitely looking forward to this one as well. Um, now, Bandito uh, has caught the eye of the WWE. Now, Bandito is, of course, not the only Lucha Libre to catch the eye of the WWE. Uh, it's interest in this past year. Um, William Regal of the WWE has stated that um, the WWE is very interested in signing the Luchador. Now, Bandito has had a rather huge year um, this past year. Of course, he's been a part of All In's uh, main event alongside of Rey Mysterio. He's currently a world champion and one of the rare Lucha Libre legends at a tender, year, then tender age of only 23. He's been pretty much everywhere. Um, he's had quite a huge success in ring as well as out. So I definitely wish him the best on that. Now, uh, PGA's 2018 edition of Battle of Los Angeles um, proved to be a rather huge success. With of course, Bandito uh, is a part of that as well. Um, Bandito uh, made it to the finals with a massive crowd support. Puma King, of course, stole the show in the opening match against Flaminta. Uh, PG, PWG's is clearly the crazy fight at the moment, um, which led to one of the CMML's bookings of the most unrated talents, uh, Sorcerer, who's also known as Wigger King Wizard, will debut for the PWG next month at the events Smokey and the Bandit. Uh, We'll take it to, I think they'll take on uh, Zack Sabre. And I'm sure it will be a rather good matchup for sure. I'm definitely looking forward to it. I think it'll be great. Sorcerer's debut is just uh, many of Luchador's uh, comings uh, for what's going on for the show. Bandito, who the show is named after. Uh, or no, Bandit is what the show is named after. We'll take on King Phoenix in what will definitely be an instant classic. Uh, Flamita will take on King Horos, who is also uh, Dragon Azteca Jr. from uh, Lucha Underground. Uh, Puma King in a month. Uh, water Open also debuting will be LAX, who will take on the Rascals uh, for the PWG Tag Team Champions. Uh, PWG, Smokey, and the Bandit will take place October 19th for the Global Theater, from the Global Theater, and I'm sure it'll definitely be a rather huge must-see event. I'm definitely really excited for pretty much anything that happens uh, in regards to that, but uh, not too much going on that I really want to rant on just uh the pretty much the news right there but anyway i hope you guys like the video don't forget to like comment subscribe you know very much and i'll check you in the next video